Welcome to Sky Podcast. Watch out for a new episode every Saturday. Every relationship, kailangan may mga give and take. The family culture is so strong in a Chinoy family. Kailangan talaga kung ano sasabihin ng mom and dad mo. Yung yes respect. lang. Oh, like, yung yes mom, yes king dad. Talaga. There are girls that are okay with the setup. But also, there's another side to it than that that you mm. can also consider. Definitely, relationships need work. And it depends on the lens that you're looking at. Okay guys, it's been a long time since we have done a letter from the sky and we have an interesting one today. Mm-hmm. What one, is it about? One that I feel like a lot of people can relate to. Hey, so, can you relate to it? I can, I can. And a lot mm. of my friends can. Which right. is why this was chosen. <laughs> the <laughs> golden letter. Okay, he said, Dear Skypod, How to deal with a relationship with a Chinese businessman who is always busy, always has family issues and self issues. We have been together for three years, but I'm always being set aside because it's always him, 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 him na lang. It's always understand me because I have a business to take care of and a family to deal with because I'm the only son, etc, etc, etc. It feels so exhausting to stay, but difficult to let go because I've invested too much patience, effort, and time for this guy. Mm. Mm. Okay, so while you're reading the the letter, a lot of there's a lot of like, okay, this person, this person. Parang mo nako flash sa akin. Na isip like, ko, ay ako to joke. <laughs> joke wow, lang. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> All I have to say is that this is. A very common thing. Yes. And it's, I don't think it's even just a Chinese yeah. thing. But with us being Chinois, um, we experience this a lot with Chinese, Chinese, <laughs> Chinese business people and Chinese families. Parang nung na mention yan na Chinese businessman yung hadit niya. Mm. Alam na namin, para ah, uh, okay, gets. Like, okay. gets na namin, there's so many nuances that we understand just from that sentence alone. Like, mm-hmm. okay, if you're a Chinese businessman and you're the only son, there are certain expectations that intindihan na natin. Yes. Whereas if you're not in the culture, siguro hindi mo magets. Uh, right? Yes, and I feel like we know it by heart. In yeah, a way. yeah. Like, not, it's not just about the only son, sometimes it's about the eldest son. Oh, sometimes. Oh. So many things. So where do we start? Eh, explain mo muna yung only son, eldest son. Kasi yun yung na-mention sa letter. Um, to those who don't know. Yeah. Kadalasan kasi sa Chinese businesses, it's pinagmamana yun eh. Di ba? I don't think it's even a Chinese thing only. But yeah. the, most of it is like the expectation. Even for me, when I was growing up, the expectation was, ikaw talaga. Hmm. You're the heir to the uh, business, basically. And it's usually the lalaki. Yes, typically. typically. So, ako, being the eldest son, the, there was kind of that expectation. I, do, I, I can't recall if it was just straightforward or parang you just understand na yun na yun. Mm-mm. But meron talaga yun eh. Like for example... Mami, bakit ganito lang yung sweldo ko? Parang gusto ko ng uh, mas ano. No, you work lang hard. Total, bibigay na naman, naman namin tong buong negosyo sa iyo eh. This is for so, you oh, naman this eh. For, this Uh-oh. is for you naman eh. So parang, uh, okay, sige. Mas mababa pa sweldo ko kaysa sa engineer natin. Pero okay, if you say so. <laughs> I remember growing up, since I was the youngest. Yeah. My ahya and my ati, who were the eldest, like older brother and older sister, mm. they had certain expectations for them growing up yeah. that I didn't have. So my brother wanted to work in Manila after he graduated college. Mm-hmm. But he was given a timeline. Like, okay, but after this day, you have to come home because you have to take over the family business yes. and help mom and dad. And the same thing with my sister. She had to go home to help. Mm. But with my other sister, Jack, who's a middle child, and myself as the youngest, we were free to do whatever the hell we wanted. <laughs> yeah, which is unfair for my older siblings. So we're going to go to elders versus no. the so. I'm just saying that unfair for them if they wanted to pursue other things. But you could also say from a different lens that Unfair for me. Baka gusto ko mag-take over. Wala. Hindi ako binigyan ng opportunity. Di ba? So parang yeah. different ways to look at it lang. And depende pa on the size of the business and uh, parang... Size of the family. Size of the family, size of the business. Meron pa mga politics na mangyayari um, from time to time. Like the very Chinese Game of Thrones kind of thing. Sometimes. Yeah. Like we've heard stories about that also. Oh. Yeah. So balik tayo sa letter. Yes. Ang point is... <laughs> Madaming nuances sa pagiging Chinese businessman or coming mm. from a Chinese family. But we feel like this doesn't only happen in Chinese, Chinoy families. Diba? Oh, oh. Sa, mm. sa Chinese lang kasi. <laughs> Ibalik ko lang sa what I know. There is a kind of like, pag bata, bata mo pa, like when we were, I don't know, 10, 15 years old, there's 
already a trickle down of knowledge. Parang tinuturuan ka na, okay, this is how to manage money. Mm-hmm. Even how your allowance, kanina sinabi ko, nagmaliit yung mga sweldo namin, it's because you're taught to save and... Be thrifty. Be thrifty, be humble. Dapat may mga ganitong mga values na ini-instill. Mm-hmm. With the expectation na pagdating mo sa sa working age, nauna ka na mm-hmm. ng konti to... You know what? It's funny because I'm just thinking back mm. at our childhood. Yes. And you were saying how little by little these seeds are planted in our youth, right? Oh, yeah. So that when we're older, yes. alam na natin, I would have classmates from the summer come and say like, oh, I went to Disneyland with my family or I mm. went here. You know, I had this. But to me, I don't know if it's the same with you. It was always, oh, for the summer, I helped in the family business. Oh. Oh, for the summer, yeah, I did this for the family business. It's always... Summer job. <laughs> oh, you, you make your summer productive. <laughs> yeah. Hindi yung enjoy, enjoy ka lang. Meron, meron pa rin, pero parang... Okay, so my sweldo, my first work in our construction company was to answer the phone. Mm-hmm. And I remember na... How old were you then? Tay, sobrang bata pa, like seven years old siguro, or nine years old. Hello? Like, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yung, alam naman ng parents natin that we won't be effective. It's yeah. just... You're just part of this. Yeah. So, yung style namin was very Chinese. We're in, we had an apartment. We didn't have a house yet that time. Yung, pin, yung nasa ground floor was our office. And yung sa taas is, was our bedroom. Yeah. That was our house. So, the office was kind of like our house. We'd be running around. Kung gaano mm-hmm. kagulo sila, Scott. We'd be doing that in the office. Right. So, parang to in- inject us into the business, may, binigyan kami ng mga trabaho. Oh, you do this for... A certain period of time. So, every day for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, Hello! <laughs> so, who are you looking for? Napaka-professional, guys! <laughs> oh, meron kaming, ano, Cynthia. Cynthia yung, ano, Cynthia! <laughs> Line one! <laughs> <laughs> Very Chinese. Oh my gosh. Ako naman, when you we were growing up, we had this department store. And I remember, mm. I was in charge of gift wrapping. Mm-hmm. So I would always do gift wrapping or yung favorite job ko was pa, alam mo yung mga supermarket dati may mga raffle pa raffle mm. tapos if you buy a certain amount based on the receipt you get a certain number of raffle tickets uh-huh. so ako yung taga bilang ng raffle tickets taga bigay sa customer <laughs> and then when they fill it up yeah. you have to insert it in the alam mo yung thing that rolls uh, that's, that's, oh my god the Gen Z yeah. won't understand parang barrel na, na it's, like raffle, an, uh. it's like a cage barrel uh-huh. where you put all of the raffle tickets and then mm-hmm. you spin it ngayon sa website na lang kasi yeah. ganito and then yung, like it's like a it's like a fish bowl. Mm. I'm sure there's a word. Parang sa loto yung yeah. Yeah. And when you pick it, that's it. Yeah, that was my job. <laughs> it was you know it was fun. I enjoy it. I don't regret my childhood, but it was always a job. Oh, ako ako meron nga akong ano summer internship na nagbebenta ako ng pinggan sa supermarket. Mm. So uh, this was an internship for school or just. For your dad. Just for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yung parang, tas may, may, may sweldo pa kami. Like, sinisweldohan talaga yeah. kami na, ng, ng supermarket. Yeah. But it was like a thing that the supermarket did to like... OJT, the, yes, mga ganon. Yes, parang ganyan. Uh, so, siningit ka lang doon? Hindi naman siya siningit. But my dad knew the the owner. So, parang pwede ba yung anak ko? Wag lang mm. nga, siningit. <laughs> siningit nga. Oo. Oh. Hindi naman siya yung buong summer mo ganyan ka sa amin. Like, there's a few weeks pa rin na, okay, enjoy kayo, vacation kayo, mm-hmm. do whatever you want. Hindi naman miserable. But I'm just saying na part talaga yun ng upbringing namin. Of a Chinese culture. Yung work ethic to to learn that, mm-hmm. to to be part of it. And especially if it's an only child. Yeah. We've heard stories of only childs na... Ano talaga? Only children. Oh, only child. Cho- yeah, whatever. Yung ang, ang bigat ng responsibility na binibigay mm-hmm. sa kanila that not only are you part of the business, but the family portion is you have to be the one to take care of your mom and dad. Yes. That heavy responsibility because you're the only son. You know, I was just going to get to that. I don't think it's an only son thing. I don't even know if it's just an only Chinoy thing, mm. but the family culture is so strong in a Chinoy family na parang kailangan talaga kung ano sasabihin ng mom and dad mo. Yung yes respect. lang. Oh, like, yes mom, yes dad. Yun lang. Sometimes. Uh. 
generally speaking, of course, it doesn't go with every family, right? Mm. But I remember growing up and we would watch these sitcoms from the States that our aunt who lives there would tape and then mm. pirated version in dumating sa amin. Oh. And then the kids, I think it was like Full House or all these sitcoms with families and kids. And they would talk back to their parents. Like, mm. I'm gonna call child support. Like, how dare you? I hate you. And then my siblings and I would watch it and we would be so shocked to our core. Like, how can you even think of saying that to your parents. Parang, yung feeling namin, pag parents mo talagang king sila. Yes. In a chi- yes. Chinese household. So, Lalo na pag lolo at lola. Yes. It's yes. like by, uh, by age hierarchy. hierarchy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even when we ate, merong, I don't know if you did this with your family, but merong the grown-up table, the teenager table, and the kids' table. Yes. So parang merong, oh, parang, it was kind of like an honor. Oh, dito ka na. It's a grown-up table. Uh, oh, okay, sige. <laughs> oh, I remember we had this dinner for your one of your aunts mm. recently. And it was a mixed table, right? So it yeah. was like your dad's age and then your uncle's and then there was us. Mm. And the food is Chinese-style laureate. So it's like a round table and there's a lazy Susan. Mm. And the waiter comes and serves the food and the waiter put it in front of me. And now in my family, we're super traditional Chinese before. Na nasanay ako na, it's always the Hindi eldest one. Kumuha, yeah. Hindi ka pa rin kumuha. Kahit nasa harap mo na yung food, kailangan yung oldest one na nasa table, siya yung unang kuha. Ah, kukuha. Ikot, ikot mo muna papunta sa kanya. Oh, ikot mo muna papunta sa kanya. And then if you're the youngest or whatever na, ikaw na yung last, last mm. priority ka na. Ah. So Slater kept telling me, kain ka na, just nasa sa harap mo. Mm. I'm like, no, give it to your dad first. Give it to your dad first. And he was just saying, no, it doesn't matter. Like in our family, we're, we're we're chill. It's not like that anymore. And I just mm. felt so sinful to get the first bite because uh, I was like, in, it was ingrained in me since I was young. That was everybody was looking at you. Kuha na, guys. Yeah. Kuha na, 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 even like, my mom was Are saying you that. sure? <laughs> I can get, it feels like a sin. Parang, kasi the seed was planted for so long. Like, it's so long tradition. Ago. It's tradition. It's tradition. So, yun na nga, the point is, when you say Chinese businessman and the, the boyfriend is explaining to you na, it's because it's like this, it's like that. I'm the only son, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. To some people, it could come off as light lang. Like, why mm. can't you just tell your parents it's like this or like that? Hindi kasi, <laughs> pag, pag certain family cultures, hindi mo kayang pagsabihan lang. Mm. Kailangan intindihin na lang. You know, this letter is an exact letter of someone we know na pwedeng siya yung nagsulat. A lot of people we know. Like, yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. I feel like if you were in the girl's position, ano yung magiging payo mo sa kanya? I have a lot of things to say. Mm. I, I kind of don't know where to start. And dami, no? I think, first and foremost, there are different kinds of girls, right? Mm. There are girls that are okay with the setup. Yes. Like, for example, you are a very busy man. I don't see you until gabi. You leave in the morning. I wake up earlier than you. When you wake up, it's time to work. Mm. When you come home, gabi na, pagod na ako. Okay lang ako, busy din ako. Dami ko din ginagawa. Mm. Wala din ako oras na hahanapin ka. Yeah. So I'm okay with this situation. And plus, we have the podcast where we, we can talk. <laughs> we have week. the weekends, the man. <laughs> Once a week. <laughs> no, but, you know, our, our leisure time is when you come home from work mm. and it's about, you know, when the kids are asleep, which is about 9 p.m. Hindi naman ako 9 p.m. umuwi. Yeah, you come home early. <laughs> okay, wait. Let, let, just, let me say my piece. So we have dinner. Okay, Slater comes home. We have dinner. We play with the kids. We spend time as a family. And then finally at 9, 9.30, uh-huh. the kids fall asleep. So it's time for Slater and I lang. Yes. And then because we're so tired from the day, mm. we just watch TV and talk here and there. But we don't necessarily have to go on these wild dates, these romantic adventures. Mm. We don't really have to like stare at each other's eyes and yeah. tell each other we miss each other. And we're okay with that. Like, mm. okay kami, happy kami. But I have some friends that are having kind of the same Issue. schedule, mm. I guess, with their boyfriends or husbands even. Mm. Pero hindi sila okay with it. Because yeah. they need more. They want more. Mm. So for me, it really depends sa'yo. On the dynamic of the relationship. Oh, or if kaya mo. Kasi yeah. hindi naman mali na gusto mo ng more eh. Ah. Di ba? I mean, it depends on your expectation also. I mean... Hindi siya, we're not saying one is better than the other. And definitely, relationships need work also. Mm-mm. Like even Chris and I, although that is a type of relationship we have, na parang, okay, busy kami, I would, I still imagine it to be like a typical work day. Na, okay, pasok ako sa umaga and uwi ako sa gabi. Just like any other Typical person, person oh, yeah. Just like any other professional, just like any other person that's working. Mm-hmm. Part lang talaga yun. Hindi naman siya yung 
Nine o'clock na ako umuwi. I'm usually home by six, latest mga seven. We still have time to bond. We still take our time to get on these mga vacations. We spend the weekends together. Kailangan pa rin siya ng trabaho. It mm. just depends on the amount of work that kailangan tatrabahuin yung relationship. Di ba? Parang feeling ko, some people need more. Exactly. Some people hindi. Some people feel like, Okay, my husband is working for us, and the love language na yun, okay na yun. Mm. Some people, the exact same thing. Ang tanggap nila is he mahal. doesn't care about me. Exactly, and I just wanna give an experience. Na recently, nag dinner ako with some of my girlfriends. Mm. And the same thing happened. It's like as if this person were the one writing the letter. Yeah. She's complaining about her husband, that he's always busy, doesn't have time for the family, doesn't have time for the kids, doesn't mm. have time for her. So it's always just her at home with the kids. And when he comes home, pagod na siya, wala na siyang energy. Ma ganon. And then like during weekends, ayun na niya lumabas kasi pagod na pagod na siya from the week. He mm. wants to stay home and all of these things. And she was complaining because she took it to mean like, this guy doesn't love me, he doesn't value me, he doesn't respect me. Like when we were together... As mm. boyfriend and girlfriend, he'd always ask me out on dates. He always tell me how pretty I was. Bakit ngayon hindi na mm. all of these things, di ba? And I told her, alam mo, that's valid. Like it's okay for you to feel that way. Mm. But also, there's another side to it than that that mm. you can also consider. Yes. Na madami din siyang problema sa work na hindi na siya share sa yo. Yes. Not to burden you with it, so that you can have that freedom to play with your kids. And I was telling her, Slater, in my relationship, Slater is the one that's working outside. And I prefer that kesa ako yung nasa position ni Slater na hindi ako makauwi sa, to the kids because mm. I'm the one who has to face all of these people. I like that I'm able to work from home. I like that I have the flexibility of time. So parang mm. it's really how you look at things and how you see things and if you're okay with it or not. Wala namang mali or wala namang tama. Pero feeling ko how you look at it matters. Yes. Diba? And it's there's also that cultural difference. A girl that is coming from a chi- very Chinese family. I know someone who's going through the same thing. The guy, parang weekend, w- one day a week na lang sila nagkikita. And then, even then, meron pang sometimes na sinisingit na mm. trabaho or whatever. Pero sa kanya, nahihirapan siya, definitely. But she also is has a little bit more patience with it. Because she comes from a Chinese family also. And gets there. And gets where everything is coming from. Yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. But parang sinasabi niya din na he's, the reason why he's working so hard is for our family. Mm. So, okay na ako dun. Kasi yes. for me naman eh. Parang it really depends, no? Pero oh. I remember when she was telling me her problem, which is like times 10, times mm. 20 of this letter, Sinabi ko na talaga, nako, hindi ko na kaya yon kung si Slater yun. Kausapin ko na talaga, like, hindi na yan pwede. Pero sa kanya, okay lang sa kanya. Oh. So, depende talaga, I guess. I think depende sa, din sa, sometimes when we're in a relationship, we ask a lot of things from our partners. The thing that we do not think about quite as deeply is, when we ask these things from our partners, meron din silang kailangan i-give up. Mm-mm. Like for example, if I ask you to be less busy, that person has to give up part of the business or the success of the business or... Part of his ano, income. And maybe that's his personality also. Kailangan magbabago. Tumatak to sa akin when it was explained this way. Like, this person, this person in a podcast, I feel, if I remember correctly, sinabi niya sa wife niya, why are you always late? Lahat ng ano natin, late ka palagi, late ka palagi. No matter how much we fight and how much we, ano... Late ka pa rin. Mm-hmm. So parang na okay lang yung issue na yun when he had a mindset shift. I love my wife because she is happy-go-lucky, she is bubbly, she is very spontaneous and all these other things. But that personality comes with... The hindi price siya, of being late. Hindi siya prompt, hindi siya... <laughs> ano, diba? like, we it's part know, of who she is. Yeah. So parang kailangan mo yung take the good with the bad or the bad with the good. And the bad with the good. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like that in a way. You, it's a be careful what you wish for moment also. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like, let's say for example, uh, you were to tell me, Slater, can you stop working? Na I think we're okay now financially. Mm-hmm. And like, parang... Nagparinig ka ba? You know what I mean? <laughs> if we're going to retire, let's just say, uh, let's just say, let's 
downsize, mas tipid tayo, but oh. I want you to stop working na. And I just time. want you to be 100% available to the family and everything. But that was change the very being of who I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, not very being, but like a big, big part. Possibling, I would be a lot less motivated person. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman siya pangit, but iba, mag-iba yung personality ko. Just like a lawyer has a certain personality, a business person has a certain mm-hmm. etc. Et so, mag-iiba yung kilala mong Slater mm-hmm. in a way. And hindi natin na to take into consideration yan when we're asking someone for these types of changes. Yeah. That's a very valid point, love. I remember my friend was telling me that her husband had this expectation of her to be a certain way when she became his wife. Mm. So when they were dating, girlfriend and boyfriend, she was a very independent woman. Mm. She was an OFW. Yeah. She commuted. She earned on her own, always on her own, and she could make her own decisions. And then suddenly, they got married, mm. and the husband had a different expectation. Uh, okay, now that I'm the one providing for you, mm. I expect you to always be at home, to always cook my food, to always be with the kids. All of these things that she mm. was not used to prior to their marriage. So now, she's kind of losing herself and mm. not realizing it. Mm. And then let's say five, six years down the line, she's like, wait a minute. Ikaw I'm looking at myself. Atin, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at myself in my photos and I'm a completely different person and I've been so unhappy and I realize it's because I'm trying to be this person for you, but that's not who I am. And mm. my personality has changed because of that. Yeah. Right? Yes. So that's a very, very valid point. I oh, think. oh. Meron pa kakilala na this person, very Chinese, very independent business person also, similar to this, yung trabaho ng girlfriend niya, parang sinispoil niya yung girlfriend niya. Like, okay, meron kang this, meron kang that, I'll give it to you, huwag ka na magtrabaho, like, live the easy life. Mm-mm. So, unti-unting, okay, the, the girlfriend was more into it, and then, eventually, nagpabago din yung girlfriend kasi merong mga binibigay na mga bagay na, na ano eh. She got used to a different life. Yes. So, sometimes, that can trigger the the guy to find it less attractive also. Yes. Even if she, nanggagaling sa kanya yung mga instructions because the reason why I, I liked you in the first place was you're independent. Mm-mm. You're like this. You're like that. Mm-mm. So, it's not um, one size fits, fits all. Pero that can happen, I would say. Yeah, and it's nice to be aware if you're the one asking your partner to change, to mm. fit something na gusto mo mangyari. Mm. Could this be a possibility? Like, for example, if I ask later nga, love, stop working na, I don't want you to work. Ako nalang maging breadwinner ng family. Yes, Tapos, yes. Tapos, oh, retire ka na, gusto mo, joke ka ng joke mo, retire ka. Ah, sige, retire, ako nalang yung ano. Yeah. Pero then I'll come at home and see you and you're not the Slater that I married. You're not the oh. Slater that I know. Nanonood lang ako ng TV, umiinom. Ano nangyari sa'yo? Yeah, you're not, you know, I, whatever. It's just, it doesn't work that yeah, way. Yeah, so possibling, yeah. it's just a cautionary tale na itong mga changes that we want from our partners. As hard as it is to change, pero kung mag-change man sila, kailangan natin intindihin din what we are truly, truly asking them to do. Yeah, I think. I also think, though, that if this is something that you can't sleep at night about, you're always constantly thinking, sulat ka na ng letters sa mm. It's good to have that conversation with your partner and see where he's coming from. Because I also had this conversation with you before, mm. and you had that conversation with me. I asked you before to spend more time with the kids, which you weren't aware that you weren't doing pala. Mm. Okay. And it, it wasn't like, stop working, come home earlier, spend time with the kids. It was just like, Hey, when you're at home, maybe you can spend more time with the kids instead mm. of working while you're at home. Because you're work on the bus. It's just a small thing to change. And now that I see you actually doing it, I feel like it's a healthier dynamic for the family. But yes, yes. kasi kasi ko sayo, without yeah. fighting you about it. Yes. And the same way you to me when you told me like, hey, like you're all over the place. Like I need you to be a wife also. Like I need you to spend time with me also because you're so busy with this and that. Wag mo kalimutan. And parang na realize ko din na oh nga no. Like, I'm so patient with everything in my life and I give so much to to the kids and to my work. And when it comes to you, because mm. I know that you're my partner, in my head, uh, he'll understand me. He'll understand everything. He'll yeah. understand Yeah. But it also takes work. And I wouldn't have realized that if you didn't tell me. Yes. Yeah. I think every relationship needs a give and take. We were taking, talking earlier that when you ask for change, especially extreme change, um, there's kapalit. Paminsan. Sa atin, there's always these back and forths and tug of wars na nangyayari of 
who we want to be without someone like telling us the other responsibilities natin. So I think even with this uh, letter, kailan the guy has to provide some balance pa rin. If the girlfriend is asking na parang, oh, this is really hurting our relationship mm-hmm. for you to be able to to be worried enough to write a letter and parang open up, open up na ganyan. So parang feeling ko, there should be a conversation. Hindi ibig sabihin na, ah, kasi Chinese family siya, yun na yun. Yeah. Eh, hindi ko na to, yun mababago. There has to be a balance. Wh- whether it may not be a balance right down the middle where you want it, pero at least you're pulling that towards, um, okay, spend a little bit more time with me. Ang ginagawa naman ni Chris, we should be doing this more often, pero from time to time, we'll just say, love, we haven't, we're always at home, let's have an, have a date. A, have a date, yeah. Mm. Naalala ko yung kwento ni Rach Lim, which we interviewed also a long time ago. Rach Lim of this Love podcast. Bonito. So Rach Lim is my friend. She's Singaporean. She's the CEO of Love Bonito. And I remember her telling us publicly in the podcast mm. how she was having problems with her husband because she was the one who was so busy and not having time for him. Mm. And syempre, ang gusto ng guy is take a break from work. Spend mm. time. Th- you're, you're my wife. Mm. Spend time with me. But She's also the CEO. He didn't kaya ibigay lahat or he yeah. give up lahat. So it's not the most romantic thing that happened. He wrote her a letter to get, like, finally get to her, you know, because mm. means you have to do something different mm. so that the person will will wake up. Like if mm. I wanted to tell you something and I just say something, and then for you it's like baliwala lang. Hanap ako na ibang way to speak to you. So yung husband ginawa letter, right? Mm. So ano yare? Because she's so busy. Long story short, now she whatever the husband wants to have a date with her, nasa Google calendar niya, mm. date with husband, this time to this time. It's not the most romantic thing. It's not the ideal thing that the husband would have wanted. It's not the movie type of thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's a compromise and it's a step towards the right direction for both. That works for both of them and now they're okay. I think meron sinabi, meron siya sinabi na I've invested too much in this relationship. Meron, something mm-hmm. along those lines. It feels so exhausting to stay but difficult to let go because I have invested too much patience, effort, and time for this guy. Yeah, that, that line lang for me, like, I don't know if I'm reading into it. Hindi niya sinabing I've ex- it feels so exhausting pero mahal ko siya. Yung parang Yeah, it's more of like Ayoko mong let go kasi sayang. <laughs> Tagal ni. Eh. Yeah. If that's what I know, if that's what's keeping you around, maybe it's time to let go. Like me not knowing you and don't take this na diretso let go kasi sinabi uh-uh. later. Pero parang it's time to reconsider. Totoo are you staying because you've invested so much? Kasi even if I've invested 10 years in a relationship, yes, it's harder definitely. But if I don't see it going anywhere else, and it's just my safety net, and my, ano, might as well not move forward with it. Because yeah. hindi mo naman mahal yung tao eh. Naalala ko yung relationship ko before in the past. We were seven years together. Yeah. At naisip ko din yun mm. na magstay ba ako? Sayang eh, seven years na eh. Wala namang problema. Hindi na mag, wala namang any issue. Mm. But the thing that made me make the decision to end the relationship was. Because in my head, it was, I've been with this guy for seven years. I'm unhappy. Can I stay with this guy until I die if we ever get married? So that's like, what, 80, 90 more years? Mm. Kaya ko ba? Yeah. Or do I sacrifice the seven years so that my 80, 90 years are happier? Mm. Diba? Since hindi na ako happy ngayon, alam ko hindi na ako happy. Mm. Okay lang yun. It's not a, an excuse na sayang your relationship. Mm. And it's not gonna make things better. Ang term niyan, diba, tinatawag na sunk cost fallacy. When you've you've spent too much on these things, they parang feeling mo kailan bumawi ka na. Mm-mm. So parang wala na yun eh, na, na nadaan mo na yun. At least na enjoy mo naman yun. Yeah. Kahit, kahit pa paano, the, the three years you weren't forced to be there. It's so funny because you mentioned the sunk cost philosophy. Fallacy. Fallacy. I'm the same way, right? Like for example, when we make an investment. Mm. And it's lugi pa. Mm. And Slater's like, pull it out. Let's transfer it to somewhere else. I'm like, no. Let's wait for it to... To bawe. To, to bawe before no, we pull it out. Eh. <laughs> Sabi niya, eh, mag-wait ka pa. Eh, di, you're wasting more time. Like, <laughs> put, be, like, put it somewhere else and then let it grow in that other thing. I'm like, I can't. It's too sayang. So I think it's the same kind of philosophy with this. <laughs> Kami Kira is very different when it comes to... Even items around the house. Like, para this thing, hindi na natin mabenta... Hindi na natin kailangan, but we spent a significant amount of money, but it's just clutter around the house. Throw it away. Yeah. Tapos siya, ha, ang mahal-mahal niyan. Baka 
magagamit pa. When? <laughs> yeah. No, my thing is I really do not like waste because oh. in my house growing up, my mom used to collect so many things. Like ayo din niya mag tapo ng bagay. Mm. So for me to buy something has to be so meaningful. Ayoko nang bili ka lang ng bili tapos mamaya hindi mo siya magagamit. Mm. So once it's there na, in my head, gagamitin ko 'yan. Pilitin, pilitin niyang gamitin. Kahit hindi, parang, Or, instead of tapon, ibigay ko sa iba. Ayoko mm. talaga magtapon ng bagay. Yeah. Meron kasi mga bagay, di ba? Na, I, I can't point to a particular thing, but parang sinasabi ko na, just throw it away. Kasi, nasistress ka every time you see it because it's not being used. Nakokonsensya ka kasi malaki yung ginastos natin for yeah. that. But we can't give it to someone kasi may sira or whatever. Like it's a gadget. Like, like oh, it's a, let's it's say it's for a example, broken oh, gadget. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, parang tapon mo na yun. Yeah, and then in my head, oh my God, this is such hoarder's mentality. But like, oh, maybe I can use the parts. <laughs> maybe this can be Scotty's toy. Like, all of these things. Yeah, yeah it's it's because, especially the more expensive items, because meron na tayong sinink na investment. Cost. There was an effort to all of these things. And meron pang emotional investment sometimes. Mm-mm. Similar to a relationship. Pero we have to cut our losses if we feel like <laughs> It's not moving forward. Isa pa example, love. Ano when you're eating, mm. and then we have food on the table, and then hindi na uubos, I'm like, love, ubusin mo, ubusin mo. <laughs> and Slater's like, I, I don't want to eat it. I'm full. If I eat another bite, I'm going to vomit. I'm like, yeah, but it's so sayang. So Slater's telling me like, so would you rather I vomit? Or <laughs> uh, finish the mga... food and vomit? Or don't vomit and sayang na lang yung food? Ano, yung, ano gusto mo? <laughs> Especially sa mga cake-cake na yung kalahati lang kinakain ko kasi sobrang tamis. <laughs> Kainin mo na, love. Kung, sayang. Oo, oh, sayang. Yung parang, kung kaka, kina, like, para sa akin, I'm calculating it. I'm being more unhealthy. You want me to be more unhealthy? Pero, pero wala naman din. Kung, kung kinain ko, Okay, at least nakain ko. <laughs> Pero pag hindi ko nang kinain, wala namang nangyayari. There's no one affected. <laughs> Sa akin lang talaga, I think you made up a, a good point. You made a good point, love, when you said, even if you've sunk three years, it's five, ten years, but you have to think of it in a much, much longer term. Is this something that you can live with for the rest of your life? Because mm-hmm. a relationship especially when you're thinking about marriage and being with this person for a very long time, well, pang forever na talaga yan, ideally, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, this is something we need to take into consideration. When we were younger, we never thought of it as ganyan siya kalayo na commitment and ganyan siya importante. Siguro, naswertehan din tayo na magkasundo tayo. But when I was 20, 25, you don't, you don't think about these things. Maganda lang siya, cool siya, magaling mag, magdamit or whatever. There's this bubbly personality. That's all you you ask. Yeah. These things that we keep regurgita- regurgitating, like all of these info, these are things that I wish someone would have told me mm. before we, you know, got married and all these things. Yes, naswertehan tayo. Yes. Because, you know, we're good. But you're also, because I wanted to say, like, the person that you're, talking about now, kailangan you're gonna be okay with that personality for the rest of your life because even if you have a conversation and yeah, mag-change siya. Like for example, si Rach and yung husband mm. ni Rach. Feeling ko hanggat 90, 80, busy pa rin si Rach eh. Like yun na yung personality niya talaga. Although, I could be eating my own words because when we got together, you were so different. Di ka busy. Mm. <laughs> and now, busy busy ka na. So okay, I guess possible na mag-change. I think I get what you mean. Para siyang ano, para siyang daan. You are moving towards this. Meron kang, you can move it a little bit to the left, you can move it a little bit to the right, but uh, hin- ang hirap mong i-360 at iikot yung buong, mm. yung buong daan or buong barko. Yeah. Paikutin mo na sobrang layo na papuntahin. It, it happens. Um, people especially with with like epiphanies in their lives, meron mangyayari ng mga ganyan. But I think 90% of us, Siyempre, parang at our core, we are... Who we are. We are who we are. We are mm. unique to to how God made us. So, parang papunta tayo dun. But I'm not saying people cannot change, but kahit saan mo dalhin si Slater, si Slater pa rin siya at this very core. Yeah, at his very core. <laughs> so, you have to be okay with that personality. Yeah. Think about it in the long term. Mm. Kaya ko ba tong busy, 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 me, 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 na sinasabi mong me, me, me na, na boyfriend? Oh. Pang forever. Yes. Oo. Kasi, yun din eh. Parang yung sinabi mo, it's always me, 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 me. Feeling ko. Feeling ko hindi sa... If you're looking at it that way. Yes. That it's always me, 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 me. Ang hirap na siya. 
May iba ako, may iba ako. I think it's a, there's a perspective problem also now that you bring up the me, me, me. From his perspective, it may not be me, me, me. Yeah. Because sa, sa pagtrabaho niya, he feels like it's a service. It's yes. a service to the family, it's a service to the business, it's a service for us and our future. Mm-mm. Pusible. Pusible. We, we know of someone na sinabi niya, this was recent lang, we had this conversation, I'm sure, alam mo, agad. Palagi niya sinasabi, yung husband ko nagtatrabaho lang, ina-allowance na lang ako, pero bakit ang busy-busy niya, ang dami niya mga binibili para sa kanya lang palagi. He's the breadwinner, yes, but parang, bakit hindi ako nasasama sa mga binibili niya, mga ano, and hindi siya nabigyan ng importansya, she feels because puro, it's all about the guy. And the guy is a breadwinner. Okay. Sinabi mo sa kanya is na, you know, it depends on the perspective you're looking at it from. Mm-hmm. Because if that person, paka sa kanya is, I'll give you all these things so you don't have to work. Mm-hmm. I'll give you all these things so that wala ka na issue. Ako na mag, mag-handle ng all the stresses mm-hmm. and all the, no, of feeding our family. Like, iba din yung perspective ng lalaki. Sa babae, oh, you're not spending time with me. You're, you're this, you're that, you're that. Pero, as long as the guy is being faithful, he parang, mm. he's actually doing something for for you. Oo, sinabi ko sa kanya, alam mo, yung life mo, swerte ka na. I mean, if hindi ka happy, hindi ka happy. Sa'yo na yon. Pero sinasabi ko lang, there are other people that would kill for your life. Mm. Like for example, ah, hindi ako agree dito, pero mm. sa TikTok, trending yung Pilates wife. Na yung husband busy-busy, pero yung wife naka-Ferrari, naka-Pilates outfit lang everyday, smoothie-smoothie, mm. pick up kids, soccer mom. Ganun lang, wala siya ibang problema. Yun yeah. lang yun. Happy na siya dun. Oh. So I'm just saying, put things into perspective, this might not be the life that you like, but it's not a bad life for somebody else. Yes. Yeah. And it's it depends on the lens that you're looking at it from. Mm-mm. Yeah, maybe she's just looking at it na everything that the guy is doing is all about me, 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 and what's important. And be honest, in like Filipino, uh, in Chinese business community, parang malaking bagay na may negosyo ka. It's like, a, like it's your self your sense of self-worth is somehow also attached to business. my accomplishments in business. I'm doing something. I'm someone important. Like, mm, the hustle. Yung pride mo of doing... And, and this is across the board. I think all of us can relate. When we're doing something important, we carry ourselves differently. When mm. we have important work, it doesn't have to be a business. If like if we feel feel fulfilled with our work, there's, there's that, diba? Mm. So parang... Kasama yun dun ni. Eh. So by saying na, oh, like, it's me, 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 I feel like she's looking at it na parang hindi masyadong healthy yung perspective. Yun nga eh, feeling ko medyo antagonistic na yung tingin niya sa relationship or sa guy. Kasi, based on like what I know lang as a growing up in a Chinese family, like for example, my brother, he's working for the family business not because he wants to. Mm. He'd rather do so many other different things. Yes. Pero kailangan eh. Yeah, that's it your, is a that sense is of service. The yeah. burden that you carry as the oldest Chinese boy. Yeah. So, possibly ganun din. Kasi sabi niya, di ba? Mm. Only, only boy bar, only, only son or something. Only, yeah. So, possibly ganun din. It's not about him. Kasi if it was about him, he would drop the parents and do something else. Yes. But because he's a good Chinese boy like my brother, gagawin niya kahit hindi niya gusto. Mm. Or, you know, I would rather spend time with you and the kids, but I have to serve show my parents because this is how I was raised and this is what is expected of me. So it's anything far from me, me, me. Mm. It's everyone but me. Yes. Diba? It's, yeah, sometimes, I felt that sometimes when you feel like you're pulled in every direction and everybody just wants something from you. I get especially that. Especially sa negosyo and like, especially when it comes to family I love my family, but sa family business kasi, um, nami-mix kasi sometimes the family and the work. Um, so even work may get discussed in dinners and everything. And sometimes you feel like everybody wants something Easy. from you. Mm-hmm. You parang, pa, si tatay, ito yung gusto. Si nanay, ito yung gusto. Tapos meron pa kaming customer doon na ito yung reklamo niya. Tapos meron pa kaming empleyado na ganito yung reklamo niya. Yung parang, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I understand that. We're talking in a sense where we just have a few paragraphs to get out of. So parang hindi siya as, as nuanced as... Um, it should be. It should be. Like we don't, like yung me, me, me was we are just... 
We're dissecting the little that we have. Yes. Basically. We're just reading into what the possible angles there. Chaka also coming from our uh, background. Grabe yes. yung disclaimer. Okay, na hindi na tayo perfect. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm just saying na parang it, sometimes kasi like ang bilis natin mag first impression. Yes. So we're just looking at the first impressions. If I were to give concrete advice, number one, Try to figure out if you actually love this person. No. If you are there not just because you've committed a lot, but you are actually there because you see yourself having a future with this person. Second is try to understand where that person is coming from, your boyfriend. Maybe he takes a lot of pride in his work. Mm-hmm. Maybe he feels like there's a sense of identity. Like ako, when it comes to real estate and everything else that I'm doing, like parang feeling ko, this was what I was meant to do. So... Mm-hmm. Just by doing it, it doesn't feel like work to me. It feels like, okay, this is this is just part of Slater. Mm-mm. So, ganyan. Lastly, I feel like you should be able to talk. Because admittedly, ako din, sometimes I get carried away with just work, 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 work. Because you get, ako, I tend to get so excited with work. So very sometimes passionate. Na parang... parang Ay, wait lang ha, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Trabahoin ko lang to. Konti na lang, tapusin ko na lang to. And then, like, Chris would call me out on that. Na parang, hey, you can actually reply to those emails tomorrow. Kasi kahit sasagutin mo ngayong gabi, bukas. And wala pa rin magbabasa niyan. Mm-hmm. Bukas mo na yung sagutin. O nga, no? O, sige, 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 sige. Mm-hmm. So, parang, maybe there's a middle ground that you can work with na, okay, that you'll both be happy and okay with. Mm-hmm. For me naman, I think one of the things that I learned really in my 30s is that perspective is really everything. Perspective is everything. If you look at life a certain way, mm. the same situation can be good, the same situation can be bad. Mm. The same situation can make you so happy, the same situation can make you so sad, diba? Parang na mention natin kanina yung me, 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 me. Naalala ko lang na it's not just in this boyfriend-girlfriend situation, but I also have this friend who's a mom. Mm. And she's also a, an influencer. And she posted that she went on this trip, mm. fashion week bayon or whatever. I don't want to go into the details. But everybody was coming at her mm. for leaving her child at home because mm. she had just given birth or I don't know how old her kid was at that time. Na parang, you're so selfish. Lagi mo nala iniisip sarili mo. Nag shopping shop, pinos niya. Selfish na siya agad kasi yung pera na yun, dapat for the kid. We have all of these judgments towards mm. people based on our own perspective or of how things should be. Mm. But hindi mo rin alam kung ano yung pinagdaanan ng tao na yun, mm. di ba? My friend who went to that show didn't want to go to that show, but she had to for work to provide oh, for no. her children. She had to because she also felt like she was being pulled in different directions as a mom, a new mom, postpartum, the kids, the husband, all of these things which I also felt. Mm. And people can call you selfish for a number of reasons because they project their own insecurities, their own vulnerabilities. To you, mm. it's all a matter of perspective. So for your husband, maybe it's something that you're projecting to him. Like you're insecure about the fact that he's not spending time with you. It makes you feel like you're not loved. So instead of looking at it from my husband is actually suffering also and he does want to give this to me, but he can't. Naging selfish na your husband. Mm. Diba? So parang may something like that din. Na. Mm. It's just all about perspective. And if you can just give that person that you're looking at a chance, benefit of the doubt, and have that conversation with him, there could be a mind shift change that could make your relationship even better. Well said. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag chat GPT. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, ako, love, I'm really happy with our relationship na swertehan tayo. And I'm also really happy with this podcast kasi minsan na-realize ko based on your advice sa mga letters na, oh, nga no. <laughs> ako din. Oh, nga no. Na-realize ko din. Even though there's like there wasn't anyone to guide us, mm. as we're hoping yeah. to guide um, the people listening, at least you have each other, and at least we're learning from each other. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm sure. Alam yung feeling na oh, I wish I knew this ten years ago. Yung yeah. Slater na twenty five ten years ago feeling niya talino talino niya. Yeah. Na naman, he didn't know anything. Like if I were to look back at the, the old me, then I'm sure uh, like. Ten years, Ten from, years now, from now, we we'll listen to this it. podcast oh. and say, "Oh my God, those idiots!" <laughs> Which is a good thing. Every time I, f- I I feel that, I'm like, "Okay, at least I know that I've grown." Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. 